Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I get kind of excited by watching YouTube videos uh, where guys are shooting out to a thousand yards and 1500 yards and it's amazing what they can do and they get really excited by two things. Number one, hearing a ping of a steel target and number two is hearing somebody behind them yell impact. Well that's all well and good but as a hunter I, I'm kind of focused on, on the three uh, principles of ballistics. Number one is internal ballistics, number two is external ballistics, and number three, important to a hunter, is terminal ballistics. And that's what happens to the bullet on the business end of the animal. Internal ballistics you can spend tons of time on, that just has to do with uh, the cartridge itself in the chamber and uh, the lead and uh, it, it, the barrel twist, all of those kind of things, uh, your load development etc. But internal ballistics has to do with what happens to the cartridge when the firing pin ignites the bullet. Okay, external ballistics is real simple. It's everything that happens once the bullet exits the barrel. Uh, now, that's where you can spend a lot of time, a lot of minutia on target, uh, you know, shooting at targets, uh, using chronographs, uh, analyzing standard deviations, uh, extreme spreads, all kinds of things. But a hunter is mostly concerned with what happens on terminal ballistics. So today I'm testing the, the Grendel uh, at distance at 300 yards to find out what type of impact that it will do on a, on a steel target about a quarter of an inch thick. Uh, a couple weeks ago, a couple videos back, and you can look at my past videos, I shot a 6.5 Grendel, or excuse me, 6.5 Creedmoor at 500 yards, and all of the bullets went completely through the quarter inch steel plate. So that's exciting terminal ballistics. So today I'm going to uh, see if I can duplicate that uh, with my Grendel, but only at 300 yards. The, there's no sense in wasting 500 yard shots. There's no terminal ballistics out there. Now don't argue with me. Uh, you know, I know there's people that have made fantastic shots on deer and all that. And I myself have, have killed two bucks with this rifle. Well, not this rifle, but 6.5 Grendel. Uh, and, but fortunately, both of those shots and both of those kills were under 100 yards. So hang on, I'll try to turn the camera around and focus on the steel plate. I'm shooting at 100 yards first and then the, uh, the steel target second. So hang on, I uh, hope you enjoy this. Okay, there's the two targets I'll be shooting at first, the 100 yard, that's the closest target to you there. On the left hand side will be the Sierras, on the right hand side will be the Spears. And then way up there, 300 yards away, is that steel target I just freshly painted. And I'll shoot, uh, again, three up, three down uh, for each bullet. And you'll see, hopefully, see the impact. Okay, here's the target at 100 yards. Uh, this was the 120 grain uh, Sierra Pro Hunter. Uh, it's about maybe three quarter inch to an inch group. Uh, here was my good old fashioned Spear Gold Dot and uh, that's not even measurable. That's well under a half an inch. But uh, okay, folks, here's the steel target. Uh, it's got a lot of holes in it. Uh, what I'm going to aim for is this at one inch uh, deal I just drove on there. We'll see if it hits. Uh, hang tough. I'll be back. So, this is what I mean by terminal ballistics uh, at the business end of the bullet and what it does downrange. So here's the remnants of the dot that I drew on there, and there's the three shots. Uh, you can see the three divots there. It's about an inch and a half group at 275 yards, not too bad, but unfortunately did not uh, penetrate through that steel uh, at 275 yards. So it just wasn't enough energy. Uh, so then I changed over the bullet uh, because this is a Sierra uh, Pro Hunter 120 grain. And I switched over to my go-to, which is the Spear Gold Dot, which is a semi-bonded uh, bullet. And you can see there's a pretty good little group there, but also no penetration uh, did not go through. Okay, here's my freshly painted uh, steel target today. Uh, it ought to show up real well for my 6.5 Grendel. I'm testing the, 
the terminal performance at 300 yards of two different bullets today. Uh, the 120 grain Sierra Pro Hunter and the 120 grain Sierra Gold Dot. Now I'm going to be shooting for this little dot right here that I drew on there. Unfortunately, the Sharpie doesn't work real well on fresh paint, but and there's one down here. I should be able to see that in my scope, hopefully. But uh, I'll shoot the uh, Pro Hunters up here and the Gold Dots down here. Now what I'm looking for, is, hopefully, is is through and through. As you can see, this steel is maybe uh, a quarter of an inch thick. Uh, if it can go through and through, then I'll feel real good about its terminal performance out to 300 yards. If it does not go through and through and just leaves a, a dent, well then that means that as far as the terminal performance, it'll be somewhat closer in. Now I do have experience uh, with the Grindle as far as shooting deer, but both of those uh, bucks were shot at less than 100 yards and uh, they went right down. So. Uh, but I, you know, I want to make sure, as all hunters do, that I have an ethical kill and and don't try to expect more out of the firearm than what it's capable of producing. So here's the test. Uh, hope you enjoy. Well, yeah, it did rotate after I shot uh, because here's first, second, and third. So that was all over here when I shot and. Uh, Here's three, you can see three impacts here as well. None of them went through uh, the, the steel, but uh, boy, look at the shrapnel effect. Uh, man, look at all this peeling off of here and peeling off of there of the paint down to the metal. I'm pretty excited about that. I mean, I'd hate to be on the uh, business end of that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot six more shots. Uh, Hopefully I have this chain hooked up a little tighter now so it won't rotate. I'm going to shoot for about here and for over here. So we'll see what happens. So hang on, six more shots, and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, here it is, freshly painted. I'm going to be aiming for this upper left quadrant here and this lower right quadrant over here. Three shots apiece to see if I can get uh, terminal penetration. Now the last time I shot kind of messed it up because this chain came loose and the whole thing sort of twisted so it didn't look like I had a very good pattern. But hopefully I've got it on there a little more secure, uh, but we'll see. Uh, this is the last six shots I'm shooting. Hang tough. Okay, we'll go check it out, see if I got some good hits on that. Okay, there it is. So hang on, let's see what, uh, what the shot pattern does.
not quite sure, but I may have missed that first shot. There's a bunch of holes in it. Maybe I just shot through a hole. I don't know. But I did hear some impacts, and I hope you did too. So let's go up, take a look at it, and see uh, what the terminal impact of my 120 grain uh, bullets and my 6.5 Grendel are. Well, folks, that kind of wraps up this episode of the 6.5 Grendel. Kind of disappointed in my shooting today, but you know what? Uh, put in the good and the bad so that you all can see it. Uh, the Grendel did not uh, go through the steel like I expected, and the plate didn't really uh, <laughs> cooperate. It kept rotating, so I couldn't really uh, focus in on a specific group. But at 300 yards, with all the shrapnel that was left all over everywhere and the, and the impact, I think it'll I think it'll work pretty good out to 300 yards. Uh, thanks for watching, folks. Again, I, I appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please uh, give a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon for future notifications. And I sure do want to thank you. Uh, I really appreciate it. My subscriptions are a little bit slow in coming up, and I wish I had more. Uh, but, you know, that depends on you guys. If you like our, my content, please do subscribe. Evidently, that's important in terms of uh, moving up my videos for people to see. Uh, otherwise, they're buried way down there, I guess, and nobody but the people who subscribe see them. So, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.